And there, this video is for next week's extremely dicey, changeable weather forecast UK 2023. Like this video and some music, please, and a thumbs up. The places you're interested with open global sea temperature of this coast of South America. Open top of the Pacific region, the North Pacific Ocean, open global sea temperature, the North Atlantic, open global sea temperature, Earth's coast of Africa, open global sea temperature, the Gulf of Mexico, open global sea temperature. Let's see what's going on there, guys. It's absolutely fascinating, isn't it? So, you're talking about the um, Epistrophe Pacific region. Uh, it's a lot cooler and colder in the eastern part, and it's a lot uh, warmer in the western part. It is actually a weak, moderate La Nina, and the North Pacific Ocean is getting actually quite hot, especially cooling down. And it's not as warm as it was, well, as cold as it was in the eastern part. It's getting a lot warmer there as well, so it's getting hot across the North Pacific Ocean at the moment. The North Atlantic Ocean is definitely getting hot through most of the winter, and it's still getting hotter and hotter. Most of the west coast of Africa and the Gulf of Mexico, it's going to be quite a bad tornado season across the southeast of North America this coming spring. You have been warned. And lose up a very dangerous hurricane season on the west coast of Africa. If we get a weak La Nina, because the epitopic, yeah, epitopic Pacific region is coming end of summer into, into the August. To keep an eye on it, guys. It's all to play for the hurricanes and tornadoes because the southeast of North America have been warned. That's that. This is the forecast of the uh, six semi the future forecast across working, well, across the UK in, in general. And you're talking about right now, talking about storm. Um, Dudley coming, that's Storm Dudley, it's going to be quite brutal, you can see the pressure bar on that, quite dangerous, this is Storm Unis, that's going to be really dangerous for summoning, it's talking about 18, 90 miles per hour, quite stormy, it's talking about power cuts, it's talking about um, water, water supply problems, it's going to be quite dangerous, trees coming down, um, this is the final cut down to these storms guys, there's going to be more storms that go further, solar westerly winds, quite dangerous weather guys across the UK, you have been warned, they'll be dangerous across the UK, across southern England, this is really brutal wind and rain, Lasting up, there's going to be flooding, you name it, and snow problems across Scotland. This is the forecast of Woking Town, and this is the um, upper, you name it, temperature, upper air temperature of Woking Town locally. You can see the red line there, that's the 30 year average line. White line's where the temperature going, it's going to be undulating up and down. It'll be, um, uh, you name it, guys, it's going to be incredible. You're talking about the um, date down here, which we'll get down to. Um, the 16th um, of February or so, it's going to be 16 Celsius by day across Woking Town, that's why it's going so high. And it's going to go down, guys. It's going to undulate up and down, up and down the temperature. Then it goes above average around out the uh, 2nd of March and stays above it. Then it goes below it and we get to the, um, you know, the 14th of March. It goes below average. Then it goes back up and it starts to go back up above average and we get to the end of March. Of course, we're in town locally. And this is rainfall spikes. It's about a lot of rain um, uh, um, tomorrow and then the next few days after the 18th of February onwards. You name it, guys. It'll be quite unsettled, quite wild weather across Wellington Town locally. That's that. This is the wind um, strength across Wellington Town. Strength and um, peg, no peg. And yeah, it's talking about over at least 40 miles per hour, maybe 80 miles per hour across Wellington Town locally on the 18th of, um, you name it, um, February um, down here. So you have been warned, take care. It's going to be quite brutal winds. That's that. This is the uh, Atlantic Oscillation. When it's been positive like that, that means you've got low pressure over uh, Greenland, and that's quite that's quite dangerous. That means you've got high pressure over the, over the UK, usually, but it could be that it, it could be well be if that's power from that strong means you've got low pressure in the UK. So it be quite brutal. And um, the same with the North Atlantic Oscillation, that's been the same thing, same sort of scenario with low pressure over Greenland and, and high pressure over the UK. It's going to be quite lively, guys. These are weather drivers here. Very wild, the final calm down to Woking Town locally today. So you're talking about a yellow warning for wind strength. I wouldn't be surprised if this has turned into an amber weather warning for wind and this coming um, first into Friday across Wellington Town locally. You have been warned. This is pretty brutal. You can see the forecast there today. Quite wet and horrible. You can see tomorrow it's going to be quite warm. That's 15, maybe 16 Celsius. And it's going to be quite nice on Thursday. Very blustery. And then Friday, you name it. And then it starts to pick up the wind as we go into the evening. Friday, it's about 43, maybe 40, maybe 3, maybe 50 miles per hour, maybe 70 to 80 miles per hour. This could be quite dangerous because Woking Town. We don't get these wind strengths very close because Woking Town very often. Um, so it's Woking Town, so it's going to be quite good. We can see what's doing in the weekend. Lots of showers and rain. The future looks pretty disturbed and changeable and wild. Pressure's going to be going up and down like a yo yo. And this is the forecast of wind strength across southern England. This coming Friday, guys. You have been warned. We're talking about 82 miles per hour there. Uh, in Hampshire, into Surrey, uh, it's going to be quite brutal, this is midday, with the, um, you name it, 6 and If you like this video, please a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, Simon J, for the full speed with you, always quite matter what the needs, the money, outweighing this view, this is the final plan now, thanks for watching guys, if you have been one, please subscribe to me, please subscribe to my channel, Simon J, by the one,